welcome back to one of the video features for the Immersive World Handbook. Today we're in Las Vegas at the Aria Casino inside of City Center. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, a few glimpses of the design aesthetic that they uh, used here. I'm just outside the, the uh, check-in area, the front um, entrance uh, reception for guests. And you can see here they've used a lot of uh, subtle earth tones, uh, browns and beiges. And I'll take you through a few more of the sites in the casino to give you a sense of how they've uh, raised the bar here uh, in terms of Las Vegas casino design. And here's a shot above uh, the high limits uh, gaming area at the Aria. And this is, I think, a fairly significant, for me, one of the most dramatic spaces uh, inside the casino. You can just see what they've done here. Um, remarkable tile work and just a use of um, a color glass structure that uh, is really quite remarkable for its design aesthetic. And what I like about this area, like a lot of the Aria, is the design sensibility focuses on aesthetics. They really did think about theming in the traditional sense as I've been discussing in these video features, but they thought intensely about um, approaching art and design in innovative ways. Here we have the use of uh, cacti and mirrors and these really um, sharp jetting structures and then above us we have additional sort of mirrors um, reflected in sculptures uh, on the ceiling. So what I like immensely about much of City Center and the Aria specifically is how they have approached a design sensibility that is nothing like Las Vegas of the past. So another highlight is found, surprisingly enough, outside their um, classic cafe, uh, just inside the casino. And you can see here the, uh, the sculpture that they've used here and some of the design elements are um, pretty remarkable and interesting for a Las Vegas casino. Here we're in the uh, lower level of the Aria Casino. And again, there's another uh, dramatic water feature here. You can't pick it up too great on video, but it's uh, fairly dramatic. It rises maybe uh, three stories, 30 or so feet to the ceiling, and a, a really dramatic use of lighting and water. Um, actually, I just heard thunder, so there's also uh, the use of audio uh, sensory stimulation. And I don't know if you could make this out, but you can see here kind of different patterns falling on the water. Uh, tranquility almost reminds me of a high-tech um, Zen garden or some sort of feature that you might see in maybe Asian cultures as far as the sense of tranquility here. We will pan around in quite a different aesthetic here is the work of the uh, famous uh, video artist uh, Jenny Holzer and uh, this particular one I'm trying to find the plaque with the uh, the name of the piece and I don't have my guide with me but you can see this is one of the um, more interesting pieces you'll find at the Aria uh, video art with uh, a text here I can't make make out all of it but a rather lengthy text that's scrolling here on this uh, incredible screen that spans uh, I don't know, well over a hundred feet. And this is one of, of many uh, features you find at the Aria that uh, focuses on art and design, I think that really makes a, a stunning connection with the guest. Just outside the uh, Bar Moderno, we also can see here really interesting kind of non-representational homage to trees and organic uh, sculpture and architecture. And here we see one of the interesting water walls at the entrance of the Aria. There's a shot just coming down the stairwell. I mean, stairwells might seem mundane, but to me, uh, they're not. They're liminal spaces, they're transitional spaces as you move from one area of a casino to another. And I wish you could uh, really see and experience this because it's a, a fairly dramatic view as far as how your perspective is altered by the angles as you're coming down the stairs.